Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I've been gone for so long. My last video I posted in the first week of May. I got really like in a rut with my content. I was not really coming up with content that I enjoyed but I figured I would kind of catch you guys up on where I've been and kind of start getting into the fall and seasonal vibes. The summer was pretty boring for me. I've just been working like a ton the over the past couple months but outside of that nothing really eventful. I did focus focus a lot on eating healthier this summer, which was another reason I wasn't really too excited about my content because I was pretty much eating the same meals every day and that's one of the main things I like to show you guys is recipes and stuff. So I did lose a couple pounds that I had gained during quarantine and I've been trying to tackle the weight that I gained when I went on birth control a long time ago that never came off and no matter what I like seemed to do, I couldn't figure out how to lose that weight. I mean, I guess it's pretty obvious like what you do, you just eat less but I always thought like, oh yeah, I'm like the exception to the rule if I count calories or if I do keto or whatever, it's just not gonna work for me. I don't know why I would always tell myself these things. And I know that this is a little bit triggering for some people, so I apologize, but I did um, a few things that I thought would be worth sharing if you guys are interested in that. I hesitated over filming anything or talking about this at all because I do know it's a triggering topic. If you wanna know what I did over the past few months uh, to lose a few pounds and what I have been doing and what I am doing, then let me know in the comments and I will make a whole video about it. And honestly, you guys know how I am with like food and how much I love food. I actually feel like all of the things I did were so reasonable. I didn't even work out. I still haven't even been working out. I wanna start working out, but because we have not been going to the gym, I'm just like someone who hates working out at home. I really need to like break that mental barrier. I just literally increased my activity, like going for walks, hitting a step goal and counting my calories. I know calories is another triggering topic. I have like a lot of tips and things that I learned over the last few months. And honestly, it was a lot easier, but took a lot longer than I would have expected. When I lose weight, usually it's because I'm like stressed and I'm forgetting to eat. And obviously if you're not eating it, you're gonna lose weight. But like outside of that, I've never been able to lose weight in like the I'm eating healthy and I'm dieting and I'm exercising kind of thing. Like I've never been able to do that. I think just because I've, I'm someone who enjoys food too much. In my head, I always thought, oh, you have to be hungry to lose weight. And that was something that completely shocked me with this whole process is that I, through the entire thing, never felt hungry. And I'm eating more frequently and more volume. I eat every couple hours. And before I would mostly snack and then have like a big meal and then have some snacks in the evening. I don't really have anything else to share with you guys, but I did want to come back for the season. Uh, this video is going to be decorating for fall. I haven't started yet, as you guys can see. And I'm going to do that tomorrow probably. I'm going to go to the country farm now, grab some stuff for dinner and grab a Starbucks. That's another thing that I've managed to healthify, not healthify, but reduce the amount of calories in my Starbucks drinks but I honestly swear outside of the experience of having whipped cream because nothing beats that the drink tastes just the same I'm gonna show you guys how I do it and then I'm going to add in my footage of decorating for fall and I'm starting to get into the seasonal content for you guys and I'm like super excited about it also I thought I would recommend a candle to you guys in case you're looking for a good one I know it's really challenging to go into Bath and Body Works right now to smell any candles because we're all wearing masks in the stores and it's difficult I haven't really wanted to buy any of the candles that I didn't already know I loved but I had this in a hand soap so I knew I liked the smell of the soap but this is my first time buying the candle this is the the perfect autumn candle and it smells so nice I've only had it for the past couple days it's pretty much been on the entire time so this is the healthy pumpkin spice latte order I think the normal standard has like 450 calories for a venti I want to say this one is 220 so it's just non-fat milk with no whip I know, sadly. And then it has three pumps of sugar-free vanilla and two pumps of the pumpkin sauce. And I promise it tastes 
just like the normal pumpkin spice latte. It's just as sweet. It's just that it doesn't have as much sugar. One pump of the pumpkin sauce is actually 30 calories. So if you have two, it's 60. And then the standard non-fat latte is 160 calories. So 220 in total. And I promise you will enjoy it while kind of staying a little bit healthy at the same time. All right, we are at the country farm. So cute here. I need to get a squash for dinner, some herbs, and then check if they have pomegranates. It's like one of my favorite snacks lately. Oh, Are these pumpkins? Do you think this looks good? I think this is what yeah. it says, right? Okay. Should we get a pumpkin for the tail? Sure. This one? I like the stem on this one. That one looks nice. Yeah. What about this one? Okay. Like uh, this? Yeah. That's cute. I wonder if they have any other the little ones. Let's go see it. Yeah. They're like actual little pumpkins. They're not like these flat ones. These ones are not that bright, hey? Yeah. These ones are cuter. So cute! Should I get two or just one? Two. They look so happy. They have pumpkins. I got it over there, but I think they have more of them over here. Driving through the country. This is our favorite way back from the country farm. It literally feels like we are actually in the country. This is like the most country road in the middle of a city. It's so much corn, farms, cows. It gives me all the Hallmark vibes. It's so serene and peaceful. we are having spaghetti squash alfredo i made this a little while ago and i was absolutely blown away with how delicious it was it honestly tastes like a meal that shouldn't be so good i won't compare it to actual pasta because i mean if you're really wanting pasta have pasta don't have a spaghetti squash but if you want to have like a healthy side dish that is really delicious give it a try if you've never had it. I don't have it because it's low carb or anything like that. I just have it because it is a really delicious low calorie side that fills me up, but still has like all those qualities of something that I really like and crave. I used to think things like spaghetti squash or cauliflower were not suitable replacements for mashed potatoes or pasta. I still don't, but I absolutely love the taste of spaghetti squash. I find it to be very like, I like to cook it a little bit longer than other people probably do. I feel like if it's not cooked well enough, it has kind of like a crunchy quality to it that I think other people might prefer if they want to have more of like the threads, but I like it to be soft and almost like creamy texture wise and like really roasty and it is delicious. So I'm going to make that. Um, this time I'm going to try light cream cheese. The last time I just used regular cream cheese because that's what I had in my fridge. For one tablespoon of the light, it is 35 calories. And for one tablespoon of the regular, it's 50. I'm going to show you guys how I make it, but basically it's just some cream cheese, milk, garlic, seasoning, and that's it. It's super, super easy. But I thought it would be like an appropriate dish to show you guys because it's fall, it's squash. So I'm going to have this with some... Italian grilled prawns. They're really, really good. It's basically just grilled prawns with Italian seasonings, some garlic, my new favorite thing to add to everything, brown sugar. I swear a little bit of sugar makes every dish just taste so much better. So a tip I'm gonna give you guys if you wanna try spaghetti squash is we're gonna cut it in half this way rather than this way because if you cut it in half this way, you actually get much longer strands. So it's more like angel hair pasta or like regular spaghetti. When you cut it in half this way, you get shorter pieces, if that makes sense. Another trick I've been doing to cut back on how much oil I use is rather than just like drizzling everything freehand with a lot of oil, which is what I used to do, I've been using this extra virgin olive oil spray, which allows you to get like a nice even coating, but using far less oil. So I have a baking sheet lined with some parchment paper, 
I'm just going to put my spaghetti squash on here. Give it a quick spray. Season it with some salt. And some pepper. And then I'm just gonna turn them over and bake them in the oven for probably like 50 minutes. They take a while. You can do the like quick method and put them in the microwave, but I prefer the flavor of them once they've been roasted. They have more of that like caramelized sugar flavor to them. you guys I saw one of the most genius tips on an Instagram reel where you take just like a ton of garlic cloves I just buy the ones pre-peeled from Whole Foods you throw them in a food processor and then you put them in these Ziploc bags and freeze them and you can just like make these little segments with uh, the back of a butter knife so you can break them off into like convenient sizes and you always have fresh pressed garlic, like the same quality as when you press it fresh. And it's just like so convenient. You don't have to like have the mess of the press and stuff every time. Butter, no, butter and squash. <laughs> the spaghetti squash is out of the oven. I'm going to quickly make the sauce for it, which is super, super easy. having to make a little bit more sauce because I didn't really do a good job of estimating how much I would need. I have a little bit of a tin foil under this one because we cut off the top when we were prepping it so that it could sit flat, but the bottom kind of came out. Okay, so I'm gonna pop these into the oven at 350 until the top is melted. So here are the finished prawns. Sebastian grilled them for us. I'm just gonna add a little bit of parsley on here for some color. tried it like this boat thing the last time we had it we had it like just how you would have pasta so i don't know that it's gonna be good i saw a lot of inspiration for it online yeah, the, prawns the prawns are really good and also it looks like we love making the prawns this way but yeah, it looks fun just like the presentation that's so different that's what made me want to try it mm. This is really good. So cheesy. Really hot. Mm. Yeah, it is surprisingly cheesy. Cool. I love this. Mm, it's really good. Mm -hmm. I ended up having to make more sauce because what I'm used to making, it ended up being like not enough for the size squash. I definitely want to have this again. That's like how, how good it tastes. It's really good. And I think that in total, mine is like, I want to say 400 and something calories. So it seems like it's quite a lot of food but it's really not that many calories. So because this was like my first time making this, I had to make some adjustments along the way, but I'll leave all the instructions for you guys in the description bar below in case you guys are interested in trying this out. Definitely recommend, so oh good. We're watching Bachelor in Paradise end of the night now. After dinner, we went and got some steps in. Um, my daily goal is 15,000 steps, which sounds wild. I feel like it sounds like such a high number and to me like, considering I used to probably get in like 1700 steps a day. It's kind of crazy, but so far we've managed to do this for like over a month now. Yeah, but Every we had to kind of like yeah, get we, to it. Yeah, it took us like two months to get to get to it. Yeah, yeah two I months. remember at first we did like one fourth of the 
kind of distance was so hard for us. We can like go for like a five minute walk because initially we started, I think it was like 2,500 steps was my goal. After the end of the day it would be like five minute walk and then it eventually grew to like 10 minutes and 20 minutes. And then um, yeah, now I try to be more active and get in as many steps throughout the day as I can. And then maybe like break my walk up. We try to break the walk up into two separate walks. So it's not a long walk at the end of the evening. I went and I started to try to find my fall decor because I wanted to start decorating tomorrow and I can't find so many things and we went down to the basement and I swear I think we had a black widow downstairs it was like a really scary glossy black spl black spider black spider we vacuumed it up but it freaks me out to think that there could possibly be black widows in it looked like one the legs yeah were different. it was the legs were very pointy and sharp and it didn't look like a harmless house spider mm -hmm. it didn't even look like one of those monster huge spiders that you know are really terrifying to look at but they won't do anything to you this one looked like if it bit you you would have a bad time what are you doing looking at black widow yeah. One of the best purchases we made probably ever is we bought this $19 Black & Decker handheld vacuum off of Amazon and we use it like exclusively for spiders. We keep it outside most of the time because we use it mostly when we're sitting outside and there's a spider on our outdoor furniture or something. But we do bring it in whenever we want to. It looks exactly like Holy the one we saw earlier. Holy crap. There was the other ones down there though. There was like another small one. I just didn't, it looked like it too, but it wasn't like big like that. And there was like all these egg sac things. Great. I'm like freaking out. It's in there still. Should we look? No. If it is, we have to get like pest people here. If they bite you, I think you can die. So why do I want to like check it out then? We have all of our stuff down there. If it like gets into our stuff. Oh, okay. This one? Yeah. That looks similar. Anyway, yeah. So I've been looking for my fall decor for like, especially the things that I made. I have no idea where anything is. I found a couple things, but I still need to look. Probably in daylight will be better. Anyway gonna end the vlog for the night and I will catch up with you guys tomorrow when I start hopefully decorating for fall. So it's not actually the next day, it's the following day after that. I thought I was gonna put everything together yesterday, but I've been struggling to find the rest of my fall decor. So last night what I did is I went to Michael's and I did what any person in my predicament would do and I bought some fall decor from there. Not a ton of stuff. So I thought I would show you guys the stuff I grabbed. Okay, so these are the items I grabbed. I just grabbed some essentials, some little pumpkin like vase filler, some cinnamon scented pine cones. I think these are cinnamon. Yeah, cinnamon. They actually smell more like Christmas, which is kind of triggering me. Making me wish it was a completely different season. I got some of these white little pumpkin vase filler or like, I guess just, you know, placement pumpkins. Some of these faux leaves. Uh, I usually do this as like, accent things like you know a couple on the table or whatever and then something i'm really excited about is this wooden two-tier tray i think it is super cute and i've been looking for something like this for such a long time ages ago i saw this cute uh fall display on pinterest so i want to do something like that with this and i just think it's so pretty and i also like that it's still like this kind of farmhouse modern with like the black hardware and then this kind of like whitewashed wood i think it's super pretty and then another thing i was so excited when i saw it this thanksgiving horn i don't know what you call these what is it called in old school thanksgiving pictures they'll have like these on the table with a bunch of like fruits and things coming out of them i've never seen one in real life so when i saw this i knew i had to get it because it is like the most perfect traditional thanksgiving piece i want to say this was 24 dollars, and i think this was 24 dollars. i think i just showed the pumpkins but yeah so that's everything i got this is just gonna be kind of like a preliminary decorating session because i still obviously i'm going to be buying a ton of pumpkins and stuff like that once they're available sebastian's in a call but i want him to help me set up my big camera to like film things with because this camera usually makes everything look really grainy uh so i want to have nicer footage for the decorating but it is just going to be like casual decorating and i still don't even know what i'm going to do yet i don't have the majority of my pumpkins i would like to get a bunch of like white pumpkins and stuff and so far i've only seen mini orange pumpkins yeah so this is going to be a work in progress but i do want to show you guys what i come up with in the meantime i'm going to start browsing pinterest for some ideas so I put together this board of like cute stuff that inspired me. I wish I could do something like this. So pretty and so my vibe, but I don't think I could do this on 
the top of my fireplace. I don't think my TV can go back far enough, but I really want to do something like this. I think it looks so pretty, but again, I have to wait till like the white pumpkins are available. So far, I do have a couple that look something like this. I think there's a bunch of faux pumpkins in here too, but I don't have enough faux pumpkins either. So, but yeah, I would like to do something like this. And also I love these candle pillars. I'll show you guys my Pinterest board. This gives me like country vibes with like all the wood on the white. So beautiful. This is also really cute. I like the green like, kind of like foliage in there. This isn't the actual picture I was talking about, but this is the same kind of like vibe where you put a bunch of pumpkins and just like fall pieces on there and it just looks so cute. I'll see if I can find the original picture. I definitely still have it. I think I even posted it at some point to my Instagram because it was so beautiful. I have like all these old Pinterest boards from previous years. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. I love this picture. I just saved this and I've been using stuff like this in my planner because I have my planner on my iPad and it's so funny that I've already pinned that picture like a long time ago. Oh my gosh, I found it. Okay, let's turn this. Okay, this is the picture. I just think this is so beautiful and now I want to paint pumpkins gold and I love this whole look, especially this kind of distressed fleur-de-lis edge here. It's just so pretty. I wish I could find something that looks exactly like this because I would totally do this, but yeah. So a little update, it is six o'clock. I spent the last couple hours trying to figure out what it is that I'm going to actually do for my fall setup and trying to figure out how to add artwork onto my TV. But um, I realized also I'm going to have to go get some more vase filler. I want to fill these lanterns with these little mini white pumpkins and I only have enough for one. So I'm gonna grab some of those and I guess this is just gonna be a vlog that runs over three days. So the last part of the vlog, I'll show you guys how I'm gonna set everything up. I'm gonna hopefully figure it out all tonight and then just show you guys on camera, like set it up for the camera uh, so that I don't have to fiddle while I'm filming, which just like helps with editing, doesn't take as long to go through the footage. Another day, another cream colored sweater. So it is day three of the vlog. I have all of my fall, well not all of my, but like most of my fall decor on the island in front of me. I tried to put together a couple things to see how I felt about them and see if I liked them. I'm very picky about about how everything's looking this year. I don't like anything really, but I think once it's like actually full on fall and I can get access to real pumpkins, like at least all of the different varieties of real pumpkins, like the white ones and stuff, uh, I'm going to probably change everything up because I do have an idea of what I want to do with my fireplace mantelpiece and my table. But with the pumpkin variety I have right now, it's just not gonna look like that and it won't be cute. I bought these pumpkins the other day at the country farm. They're already going bad and I've never had this before. Usually the pumpkins I get, like you guys can obviously see that. Usually the pumpkins I get last forever and I throw them out close to Christmas. It's been literally three days since I bought these and they're already going bad. So I have no idea what's going on with them. They're such beautiful pumpkins, but it's all like spoiled. It doesn't feel soft or anything, but it has like very bad discoloration. So anyways, I'm gonna set myself up and the next footage you guys see will be a montage footage of me putting together my fall decor.
I don't love it, but I feel like it'll be much better once I get some pumpkins. And also I'd like to like redo this tier thing here. I figured out what this thing is called. It's called a cornucopia. <laughs> and I love the way that it looks with all of these fake gourds coming out of it. And then again, I wanna get some real pumpkins to put around here and then probably get rid of this garland. I made this garland for a DIY video that I'll link below, but just decided to put it on the mantelpiece. And then these little pumpkins are from Michael's. I made this wreath uh, in the same video that I made this garland in. So I'll make sure to link that for you guys in case you wanna find out how to do this. I do like the wreath. I just don't know that I like it on the fireplace. And then I have a little pumpkin down there. And then I have some birch in this little basket. I'd like to get some more to make like a larger pile of it. All right, I'm going to end the vlog now. I hope you guys liked my decor. Don't be surprised if you see it completely different the next time I post a video because I'm not super happy with how everything turned out. I feel like it'll be a lot better once I get pumpkins and can do kind of more what I had envisioned. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what kind of content you wanna see for the seasons. Um, so like whatever you wanna see, make sure you let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys. Ciao.